Shaitan Yasuna Rahman Rahim Atiyullahi Rasul Ulul Anvimin Kong. And always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdul Qalaji, Sadaifu, Miskeen, Zal, Mujahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that the holy month of Shahban, the month of Sayyidina Muhammad and the month in which this Divinely Light will be known. And that's known through the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah And coming now Monday night the 14th is Laylatul Nisf Shahban in which the spiritual new year in which Allah is going to write the destiny upon this Muhammadan light. That everything written in La Mahfuz and everything is made from Muhammadun Rasulullah The light in which Allah makes every creation from is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad So means that on that 15th and midpoint, the middle of La ilaha illallah to write into the center of Muhammadun Rasulullah Means between these two immense rivers, Laylatul Nisf Shahban and the 15th is an immense reality in which Allah will write the destiny for that year of who comes, who goes, who lives, who dies, what comes into this earth, what leaves this earth, what the rizq, sustenance, what the amal and ajr of the servant will be. Means everything written in a clear book. <coughs> and the book of Allah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So anyone whom wants goodness means then understands to love Sayyidina Muhammad by doing good deeds, good actions, things that are pleasing to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that we gain the holy intercession and nazar of Prophet So it's an immense opportunity in which Allah is going to be writing on that reality, these destinies and the comings and goings and an opportunity for the nation in which to, to do good, to observe that night, to spend the night in, in worshipness, the night before in fasting and the day of… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The, the writing of the destiny of the servant and fasting, the night in prayers, there's a hundred rakah, fifty sets. And in each rakah the ten ikhlas so that the was the, comes to thousand ikhlas to be recited. Means that these are all from the immensity of the holiness of that night in which Allah will be writing all of these realities and that we want for ourselves to be written a good destiny, to be safe from difficulty. That the rizq to come, health to come, the faith of our families, our communities, our children, all the things that we want in our lives we're asking on that night that Allah to write for us and to write away anything that is of a difficulty for us, to lessen anything that is going to be difficult upon us. So we spend that night again in worshipness and good deeds and, and good actions and building up to that night. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensity of His realities and His blessings and that Allah inspire within ourselves to do good and to have good actions and good character. 
This way is based on character that we pray that Allah give us good characteristics and anytime Allah wants to give the servant good characteristics, He turns the heat up. Because what makes the character to be defined is the heat upon the person. When life becomes testing and becomes heated and becomes challenging, that's when someone can determine their character and the quality of their character. What they call the stress tests in other things in life, in construction and in development and whatever other aspects of people's lives. You, you think something is strong, a piece of wood is strong and so this is a very strong wood but they, they have a situation in which to test it, they begin to bend it and see that you know it has a, a strength or the minute you touch it it's going to crack and fall apart. So our life is continuously in our state of testing and anyone whom wants the reality, wants the good character but yet complains about the testing. So there's no way to achieve the good character without the testing, without the stress, without the challenges in life. The good character can't be achieved because what would be putting the servant through the school. So it means that our life is a hikmah and a wisdom that when Allah enrolls us in a school that's based on good characteristics. Min khuluqul azim, this is the greatness of Prophet that distinguishes the Muhammadan reality above all the prophetic realities. What distinguishes that reality is the excellence in character, the excellence in, in the beatific nature of the character in which Allah made the Muhammadan reality and khuluqul azim and describes within Holy Qur'an that you are of a magnificent character. Means our life it comes to that reality that when the character is good Allah can inspire the amal to be stronger. Because some people think it's their amal that they focus on, their actions, their reciting, their prayings and all their actions. <coughs> But Prophet describing that, no there are those whom maybe their actions are not that strong but their character is very beatific. Means the character and the goodness within the character tr shows the true reality and the nature of somebody. So means this is where the diamond is. When somebody has and exhibits good characteristics they're like diamond. Whether you think this or you think that or whatever you think about the person, we judge through our dirty eyes and we judge with jealous hearts. And that's why we shouldn't be a partner with Allah The judgment is only for Allah because Allah looking like a glass of a jeweler that only the jeweler can detect the perfection within a diamond. Everyone else you pick up crystal and you say, this is beautiful. But the, the true jeweler means the one whom is trained in that reality has a special device and equipment and they can tell the difference between crystal and diamonds, even now man-made diamonds and real diamonds. Means for Allah is the judgment because he's the creator, he knows the criteria in which he's judging his creation. But Prophet comes to our lives to describe like notes for us that be careful because what Allah is judging on and what Allah is truly looking at is the good character. And if, if, if one exhibits good character, humbleness, modesty, patience and perseverance a tolerance in, in their entire characteristics in their khuluq, this is dear to Prophet And that's what's important, that's why external people they look to someone and they judge with external eyes. 
oh this is not praying right, oh this is not organized person, oh this like this and, and everyone has a criteria in which they think is important and then they judge God's creation and that becomes shirk and that becomes shirk khafi the hidden shirk in which a servant is, is a, a great atrocity or a great sin in Allah's eyes. When the servant pretends to be divine and begins to judge Allah's character, Allah's creation. And for us is always a reminder this path is based on characteristics, having good character, having good moral standards, having a, 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 a life in which we struggle against the bad characteristics. And external people they focus more on their deeds and actions and their external actions to be seen as something that people to witness them or think of them as something. So again reminder always for myself that the path is based on good deeds, good actions, good characteristics. A part of those characteristics means in every aspect. When we're coming to zikr we don't burden ourselves upon other people, means that we don't push ourselves upon people to take me here, drop me here, pick me up, do like this. This is not good adab because the person is already struggling, people are already struggling with attending the zikr and trying to be of service, last thing they need is now to go after and to do things for other people. So means everything in, in this school of adab is a test for ourselves that I shouldn't impose myself on other people and I should take my path by myself to do what I need to do to get to where I have to get to and to do the service I have to do without imposing upon other people, without yelling at other people, without uh, antagonizing and agitating other people. And that's what's meant by good manners because we talk about good manners and immediately somebody starts to do something opposite of that as if the talks weren't based on, on them and the talks are based on myself as a reminder for everyone that in every aspect of our life Allah is watching us and the tariqah is the dearest aspect because that's the actual school of this love and this this mercy and this ambassadorship to represent the Muhammadan light. We pray that Allah inspire within ourselves to do good, to be good, to have good actions, good characteristics, to support the, the, the needy, to support the hungry, to live a life of service in which we, we serve one another, serve our brothers and sisters and those in need and that Allah be pleased with us and as a result grant from His bounty and His blessings, His lights and His mercy upon ourselves, our families and our communities. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifu wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.